everyone. Today I'm here to do an unboxing. Today I'll be doing another Flick the Wick unboxing. So if you haven't heard of Flick the Wick, they're a relatively new company. They just actually, I think, celebrated their first year anniversary or coming up on their first year anniversary. And they just started making monthly boxes. So Flick the Wick is not exactly... Flick the Wick is bookish, but doesn't have any books in it. It's bookish inspired. It's actually a bookish candle company, which is always really fun. Flick the Wick has reached out to me again this month to share an unboxing with you guys. I also have a coupon code for you to use. This is good for their boxes as well as anything on their site because just what you see today in their box, they have boxes, yes, but they actually sell individual candles and stuff like that. So if you use the code BOOKABLES10 at checkout, you can get exactly 10% off of your order, whether it be a box or things like that. So like I said, they've been doing monthly boxes boxes for a little bit. Last month's theme was Harry Potter. This month's theme is called Smoke and Dreamers, which you haven't guessed. It is a Lainey Taylor inspired box, which I'm very excited for. Although, just to be 100% clear, I've only read one Lainey Taylor book, and that is Strange the Dreamer. While I really adored it, I am not a Lainey Taylor novice by any means. I you know, I've read that one book. So I'm missing out because I still haven't read her daughter Smoke and Bone trilogy, which I plan to one day, but so many books, so little time. You know the drill. So you're getting in these boxes is you're getting one full-size candle of theirs, and you're also getting three to four sample, like travel size candles, I guess, and you're also getting a few bookish goodies that revolve around the theme. So I'm guessing everything in this box is going to be Lainey Taylor inspired. Also, can we just appreciate their box? I think they change the colors of them every single month. Look how beautiful it is. It's just so cute. Like, I just want to hold it forever. So let's open it up and see because, oh also I'll open it up because they really package it beautifully so I'll show you. Look at that. Oh, it's just so neat and so beautiful. I feel so bad for like ripping off this beautiful tissue paper but we shall do it for the sake of the unboxing. You're getting is a little card that's going to tell you everything that's in the box. Obviously like I said this is their Smoke and Dreamers box so this is you're getting everything in here so I'll be referring to that. Um, the first thing you're getting, well, I can see the big candle right away, so let's just, let's just go with that. This is the big candle. I can already smell it. It smells fruity, and I love it. <laughs> so it comes with this really beautiful, like, cardboard box, and you open it up, and it is the Scholar. Look how pretty that is. It's got a whole bunch of books on it. This is Honey, Apple, Vanilla, Pear, Nectarine. Ooh, and it's purple. Mmm. I can definitely smell the pear. Um, I'm not getting so much of that apple. I'm getting the pear and nectarine and it smells good. It smells like literally like a, if you walked into a whole garden of fruit, I guess, if that would be the correct smell. I've never done that, but this smells beautiful and I love the colors. There are different colors for each one. Oh, this is so I do really enjoy this one. So, And I love this one as well because like you wouldn't tell that it's Lainey Taylor. It's called The Scholar, so it'll really fit perfectly in with like your book bookcases or bookshelves so I'm not planning to like make my whole bookcase candles but if I have ones that have books on them that fit with like the general theme I'm gonna put it up there so I really like this. The next thing I see are some bookmarks. So these are from Dreamy and Company and they are like the magnetic bookmarks that I've gotten before. I'm not a huge fan of the mag magnetic bookmarks. I can talk I promise um, because I just feel like they're kind of a hassle to put on your bookmarks. I'm just the type of person that will throw a pencil in there, will throw a gum wrapper, will throw a bookmark. I don't has this a little bit more tedious, but these are beautiful. So, Karu and Akiva magnetic bookmark set. So, I'm guessing this is from the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy, which I have yet to read, but they're beautiful. I will say that, but the detail is stunning on these. Is this? Oh, this is a tattoo. Oh, this is really pretty. I cannot tell what this says. Like, it's backwards on here, obviously, because it's a tattoo. So, this says, um, oh, what do you say? I, uh, I wonder if I could open this up to see. It looks like it's from, I want to say Strange the Dreamer. It's been a while since I've read it, but I think this is from Strange the Dreamer. I, oh, this is so backwards, I cannot see what this says. It's um, backwards, so I can't really see, and it's in small writing, and this is horrible, but either way, it's like a jar full of fireflies, and I'm pretty sure this is from Strange the Dreamer. Um, this is beautiful. It's a beautiful temporary tattoo. I kind of wish it was a sticker almost, because I would love putting this on my planner, but this is beautiful. So yeah, um, that gives you instructions. This is from Bookmark Tattoos. Um, it gives you instructions on how to put a tattoo on. You know the drill. Oh yes, I already know what shop this is from. This is from Ink and Wonder. I've gotten um, one of their other bookmarks in an Alcrate box before. They're like wood bookmarks and they are stunning. Um, this says, Dream Up Something Wild and Improbable by Lady Taylor, obviously. So I don't know what quote this is from. It's Strange the Dreamer. Yay, I've read it. Um, but either way, this is stunning. Like I said, these are wood like they're just quality made and the colors are just so beautiful it's just a very vibrant bookmark it's actually 
I think they might be some, they, they, I think they're my favorite bookmarks, honestly. Like, I really love Nerdy Post bookmarks. I love Ink and Wonders bookmarks. Like, this is just beautiful. So, I really like this. The next thing I see, it looks like a pin, and it is, I think, another, um, uh, I think it's, I think it's from Daughter Smoke a Bow. It's from Dreamy and Company again, and it's, I want to say, character in Daughter Smoke a Bow. It's really beautiful. I might do a giveaway for this. The next thing I see, ooh, is a bath bomb. Mmm, this smells really good. It smells fruity. This is Weep. This is obviously from Strange Sojourner because the whole book is about this lost city of Weep. And this is Sugar Plum Berries. I really love bath bombs. I have saved all of them I've gotten from bookish boxes, but I haven't used them because I have a sucky bath. Like, there's just no going around it. I'm gonna use for when I move into a house where it has a great bath. And I'm gonna use all of the bookish ones. But either way, this might be my favorite bath bomb I've ever gotten because I really enjoy the scent. It's just really sugar plummy, like sugar plum and everything nice. I think I see a tote bag or something like that. Yes, a tote bag. And this is beautiful as well. It says, let's see if we can read it together. Oh, life doesn't need magic to be magical. And that's a quote from Elena Taylor. I like that a lot. I don't know what this is, what, um... Probably from Strange as a Dreamer or from Daughter Smoke Bone. I'm horrible, I know, but either way, this is beautiful. I love the gold detail and I love the navy blue. Those are really beautiful colors. Like every time I do a wedding with these colors, I'm like, yes, I love these. This is just really pretty. And so the next thing I see is a um, print. And again, I think this is from Daughter Smoke and Bone Trilogy. She seems to have blue hair, so I think that's from there. This Rue art print, this is from um, Leslie Blackbird. Again, this is the main character from Smoke and Bone. She, this is a beautiful print. Like this woman is stunning. I love her blue hair. This is really pretty. I love how detailed this is. This is really pretty. The last thing you're getting are your three little candles you have. So they're gonna be different, obviously. So let's see what they are. First up, I have the Seraph and this is White Suede Rosemary. I like it, I don't love it. I'm not a fan of like the Manly scents? I don't know. A lot of people love that. What is it? Mahogany teakwood candle from Bath and Body Works. It's a little bit too strong for my taste, but I can. This is not too too strong, so I don't hate it, but I don't love it. The color is beautiful. The serif, I don't know what this is from. Probably from Daughter Smoke and Bone. The next one is the Artist, and this is Espresso Chocolate. <laughs> I'm gonna love this. Oh my gosh, it smells literally like a coffee shop. It's amazing, <laughs> and it's really really blue. I love. Mmm, this smells so good. Last one is the God Spawn. That's definitely from. That's definitely from Strange the Dreamer. I think these these other two were from um, Daughter Smoke and Bone. So this is Night Musk Woods. Ooh, I might like this one. I love woodsy scents. Mmm, I like this one. It's kind of manly, but it's got just I don't know. I don't know how to describe this one. It's got a musk to it, hence why it's called Night Musk. It smells definitely like a men's cologne, I would say. Um, but like I don't know. Like, I would really like the scent of my husband to be straight up with you. It smells good. I like it. This one is black, but it has, like, fleckles of, like, gold in them. It has flecks of gold in them. It's beautiful. So that's everything you got in the box. As you can see, you're getting a crap ton of stuff. So let's go through them. So you're getting three little travel candles. Um, so those are awesome. You're getting this tote bag, which is beautiful. You're getting this beautiful print. You're getting this amazing bookmark. I'm obsessed with this bookmark. You're also getting a little temporary tattoo. Two little magnetic bookmark pin, and you're getting a full size candle, which is awesome. So, that's everything that comes in this month's box. Overall, I really enjoy it. I think I would enjoy it a little bit more if I had read the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. I probably, my level of happiness would probably be way up here. But either way, all these items are quality made. Like, I'm probably most excited about the Scholar candle. I really love the smell of that, and I'm really excited about the bookmark. I just love Ink and Wonders bookmarks, and I really love the tote bag as well. And I mean, I just like everything, honestly. So yeah, if you are interested in checking out Flick the Wick, I will leave all their links down below. Like I said, use my coupon code if you're interested in buying anything off the site or use the box and stuff like that. And yeah, it's always fun to try something bookish, but not exactly books, but like bookish inspired. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.